Ho, 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 listeners. Funky. Just because the Christmas season's over doesn't mean Santa can't be doing his rounds. Yeah. We're playing Serious Sam BFE. Can you not see that I am serious? Which stands for... Big fucking erection. Okay, then. It actually, it's supposed what to stun. Alright, don't push B. A weird thing happened. Let's jump. Oh, I can grapple. Yeah, you familiarize yourself, man. I'm on the mouse and keyboard, as God intended. I'm stuck with the fucking control pad, so, yeah. So I'm sure we'll figure it out. Shit! Oh, hang on. Yeah, that works. Fucking get it! Yeah, that's the funny okay. thing about Serious Sam BFE is that quite a lot of the early enemies, at least, you can kill just by running up to them and pressing one button. Although that doesn't make it any easier as you go through. Okay. So this so is the, the third official Serious Sam game. Hoppa! Oh, I got a fucking sledgehammer. Is it not still there? No. Oh, wait, where are you? I'm here, in this lovely place. Right, yes, Cooey! Where, are you? Where the hell are you? I don't know. Find the dead monster. Oh, there we are. Over here. Is there, a, is there a sprint button? Explore the map, presumably. Oh, okay, there's Can a stock. you push the controller stick in? Um, is that it? No. Uh, try the shoulder buttons. Yeah. Here we can both pick up the weapons. Alright. What's your name? Huh? What's your character's Maybe name? Funk A. Delic. You sure are at that. So yes, I'm on the left, if, if it wasn't clear. I'm Santa Sam. <laughs> and here is some plot. Some what? Like we ever needed plot in a serious Sam game. <laughs> is it? Ooh. What's your 20? Yeah, Rodriguez. Eat me. I should warn you though, I might taste a little funky. Where are you? I don't know, where the hell are you? I'm running down the stairs. Oh, I'm exploring like, the building, okay. like a good operative or whatever the fuck Serious Sam is. <laughs> What's his official status in the military? Well, apparently he's in the he's... plainclothes division. Oh, uh, there you are. Uh, well, that, you know, there's some sense there at least. Is there's, there's, there's a jump. Oh, I got a spin rooney attack. That's pretty rad. Yep. Okay, there's a jump. That's, Oops. That's the alt attack. Alright, well, I'm outside. Okay, good on ya. I will think I'll take the stairs. As God intended. Fucking uh. So, listeners, if my voice in my various projects has sounded a bit weird lately, it's because I'm on painkillers again. I'm having ulcer problems. Sucking the wrong dicks again. Yeah. Probably all Probably them freezer pops. I, I God, got... you know, it probably is the amount of those things you bloody will go through. I, I wondered, because they, you know, they do prang your mouth a little bit. Yeah, the plastic on them is not a friendly, suckable plastic. Like, we're not talking, you know... Well, Fleshlight soft here. Well, ulcers have a number of contrib contributing factors. But I got a really, really bad one on the roof of my mouth. Right at the tooth. Right on a tooth. So everything <laughs> I ate sent waves of agony through my jaws. And now I'm on painkillers and antibiotics and anesthetic mouthwash and a whole bunch of other things. You need one of those... Um... How did I just raise this hammer? I don't know. So I think when you look in certain directions... Hey, I, I'm translating this graffiti. Fucking bop. You stop killing everything. Well, I'm, you know... I'm trying to get the most out of this luxurious You can translate graffiti? Where's... Yeah, if you, if you look at graffiti until the subtitle appears and then hold it for a bit. The translation appears. Yeah. Isn't that neat? So they did put the I translated into, those strange Arabic squiggles. So they did put the effort into putting a bit of plot into this game. As I say. Well, I haven't, I'm, you know, you're the serious Sam expert. I was concerned so. when I first started this game, because you start off in a ruined city, falling out of a helicopter, talking about where's your 20 and all that yeah, bollocks. So I thought, oh that's... dear, the specter of modern warfare shooters has hit even serious Sam. Modern Samfer. But having said that, I'm wearing a Santa suit, and, and you're dressed like one of the glam metal detectives. I'm like a really sort of uh, early Luke Cage. And really, this, this early part of the game is uh, sort of an anomaly. Because later on, you just go into the Egyptian ruins and hey, it's Serious Sam 1 again. I mean, I think running around smashing big ogre things with a sledgehammer that don't really. Like, they look scary, but they don't do, like, really anything. 
Serious Sam one is. Ah, uh, this horizontal know. divide is just awful. Well, hey, Vertical divide is just awful. Serious Sam one's one of my faves. I've been replaying Serious Sam two a bit lately. I told you I'll be there in a minute. It's Jones. Rodriguez took. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, I know what that sound means. So yes, I was replaying Serious Sam 2, which is a bit of a weird one, probably polarizing a bit. It tends to it tended to lean very, very much more heavily on the wacky humor side than the violent bastard side. And you know, it's a bit it's a lot more cartoonish. Like the bomb head guys have little springs, <laughs> like bombs on springs for heads. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of really bad attempts at humor. Like what kind of bad? Like ha ha bad or George Lucas bad? Oh, I'd say it's pretty close to the George Lucas side of the spectrum. Ugh. Where did you go? Um, scooting off. Oh, hang on. There's an arrow indicating where you are. Oh. I can just right, you're, follow that. I think you've gone fairly far away. Yeah, I'm, I'm 100 meters to? away did from you. Did you get, like... You're behind this wall. How did you get behind this wall? Which way did you go? Have you gone backward? I don't know. This place is a maze. Um, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head in the direction I think I'm supposed to go. I wasn't paying attention because I was um, talking... You were recounting. Well, go back to recounting. I'll find you. I'll find you. Well, we'll just, uh, we'll hmm. be buddies. Is it over this slope? I All right, am I? Nope. I'm not allowed through there. Yeah, so Serious M2, very dodgy attempts at humor, but, you know, the action is pretty much what I was after. Yeah. It's just lots of enemies spawn and you shoot them. I mean, if you go into a Serious Sam game for, like, good chuckles, probably other games you could go to. Uh, where am I? All right. Yeah. Now you're just moving forward by the sounds of it. Um, yeah, like I'm ahead of you by a lot. Yeah, by a So you've gone... By a hundred and... By uh, I think I just threw something. meat. Yeah, you've, you've walked backward. That's, 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 that's your problem. This is maddening. I just met it. I'll go for... I'll, 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 I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, chum. The lower, it's okay. The lower side visibility probably doesn't help. Yeah, that's why I was a little bit confused when you went for the vertical split. I don't really like the horizontal split. Even though it lets you see... Well, I, I prefer this because you can see up and down better. And, then, and with that, you sacrifice left and right, admittedly. But you don't sacrifice as much. Uh, anyway. I don't think that much is coming from above or below us. You know what I mean? Like I. Oh, well, you say that. Huh. A, now I can't find my way back to you. Yeah. This. Where did you go? D have you what not route? seen a dude in a purple shirt yet? Like. No, what route right. did you take? Um, the correct one. Oh, this is embarrassing. Not for me. I, can't, I didn't and, see uh, any other ooh, ways the? to go. Is it this way? Okay. Oh, this is the way. Alright, that's happening. See, that's why looking up is useful. This yeah, way. but if I we could do... Side, if we weren't by side by side, you wouldn't have been able to look at that whole thing. I probably would have. Uh... Not in one go. Oh, what? Okay. I, I, it's a, there might be things around me. It's a shame I have no way of telling. Spin around on the spot with a goddamn thumbstick like a fool. Ooh, glowing and blue. Gabe wants to touch. Shit. Armor, yeah. You're just getting further and further away from me, dude. Um, well, yeah, because I realized you were, like, lost way back, so I gave up and started to look around. Well, stop. Come back the way you came. Yeah, all right, I am. Oh, here's an enemy. I guess, I think, I think that's progress. Right, here's a purple dude. Do these guys... Ah, you are. Right. That's that sorted. Alright, now follow Uncle Gabe. Uh, fucking, where are ya? Ow! What the fuck? You hit me! You turned on... At... Against, you know, my advice, you turned on um, you, Team Hit. That was You did not say not to turn on Team Hit. I you said, said I, seemed... I, I said, for the record, this is a bad idea. Ow! No, you said it seemed like a good idea, you liar. No, I said it'd be funny. I said it would be funny, and I was right. Look how funny this is. Ow! Ha, 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 Hate ha, ha, crime! Ha, ha, Hate ha, ha, crime! Ha. Look how much fun we're having. Every time you kill me, you support racism. Well, let's not get into a cycle of revenge. That's that's how Israel and Palestine happened. Funky black lives matter, Yahtzee. Yeah, well, all lives matter, I think you'll find. Nope. Racist. I'm losing you again. I'm finding myself. I'm, oh, well, where'd you get I've, a gun? I found a gun. Jealous? Yes. Well, you better come to where I am then that's and stop doing. running ahead all the time. I'm... Well, I thought that was kind of the core of what Serious Sam was about, you know? You hoon along and you murder shit. Ow! <laughs> okay, <laughs> being able to look to the right probably would have been handy there, I will admit.
and I will always gun you. Fuck. Ow, ow. Man, those guys like you. I don't even know I exist. Oh, I where, 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 where? Ha. What the fuck? Oh, X is reload, okay. <sighs> See, this is what it's all about. It really is. This is an enjoyable time. Yes, it is not a bad time. Fucking die. You oh, fucking oh, die. oh, where are you? Where are you? Over there. Yeah, nice try, Super Bomber Man. Do you, I think since you're on the controller, you might get some auto aim if you press Oh, aim. yeah, no, I, I put auto aim on. I'm not playing that fucking well, game. You need to use the aim controls to do that, the iron sight. Oh, really? So it'll be... like do sort of an auto lock on if I iron sight near him? Yeah, like if you do left oh, trigger, I think it is. Hey, there he is. No, I think the bullets are just sort of, you know, like, um, in early. Ah, don't come sit on Santa's lap. Oh dear me! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear me! You think we haven't seen a new Bomberman game because of the threat of Islamic terrorism? Fuck, this is I, fun. I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck you, uh, you fucking fuck you. I love the screaming kamikazes. Yeah. They're the essence of this game, really. They really just. The way the scream never wavers at all. It's just. Yeah, I think there's just something inherently funny about it. The inherently. The uh, unwavering scream. Oh, motherfucker. Until explosion. I mean, you could get bogged down in questions like what the hell are they screaming out of? <laughs> the since, bombs. Since they have no heads. Well, maybe they've still got vocal cords. Yeah. Just a neck hole. I don't know, do you still need your mouth to be able to go, ah? Um, to go, ah, yeah, I think you could, with, as long as you can expel air, I you can it, make some kind of a noise. I think if you didn't have a tongue and a mouth and lips and teeth, you'd just go, ah. I think it would sound kind of like a wet whoopee cushion. Okay. Or a queef. Because <laughs> that's the same thing, really. Can't get through one of these without the word queef being said. There's something almost quaint about that word, I always think. Really? Queef. <laughs> Queefy queef. Hey, I found enemies over here. Stop right. talking to that bitch. Who wants to selfishly have a plot. Hey, kill steel. Are you shooting me? Yes, I am, because you were in front of me like a lemon. Like a big, funky lemon. Nice try, bomb dudes. I shouldn't wear my contact lenses for this sort of gaming. <laughs> this is just actual footage of Cairo at the moment. <laughs> just, yeah. It's just... These are the, uh, the initial wave of anti-Mubarak protests. I mean, that's what happens when people get radicalized over the internet. They take their heads off. Yeah, this is, they, uh, this is just, yeah. They uh, tape bombs to their hands. And then they, um, <laughs> support Gamergate. Yeah. Ah, that wasn't fair. That was a bit of a rough spawn. Pro tip for kamikazes, you can make them pause a bit just by oh. shooting them once. Yeah. Oh, back we are. Yep, same spot. All funked up, guess, ready to go. Guess there's no challenge in this game, whatsoever. Have you ever, have you ever been playing this game and thought you heard the kamikaze scream, but it wasn't? It yeah. It was just your mad ears? Well, it's the same as, like, phone vibrations. Yeah. I like, guess. I can be sitting in an empty room in here, like, and I fucking... I, I feel them as well. I feel it in my pocket. <laughs> but it turns out just to be my twitchy, anxious, muscular system. <laughs> Uh, huh, I wanted to melee that guy, but the prompt never came up. Shouldn't need a prompt, just take what you want. Look at all the incredibly realistic blood all over my hands. That is totally blood, that it's is. Just like being there. Ooh. Blood is paint. Mm hmm. You'd like some jam? Mm, tasty. Sweet, delicious Well, jam. I guess I can't say my gun isn't Christmassy. Oh, what? I'd rather not, thanks. Get out of the way, I have precious little screen with which to see as it is. Um, 
We have to locate Professor Stein. Alrighty. Spiffy. Because, because of plot. Good lord, does that go away anytime soon? Oh, I hope maybe if I press the Netrixer button, I can make it go away. Oh, mine went away. I'm quids in. Uh, there we go. What's that noise? I, I don't know, but it's probably going to be me. Oh. Oh, it's one of them things. That one's for Joe's bones. I like Sirius, Sam. <laughs> He's unashamed. Mel uh, I think I just melleed something. Alright, that's who was shooting me. Haha! -ha. Have your friend's head. I don't want it anymore. Oh, uh, secret? I got a secret. An Arc du Trump. Fair enough. Where do they hide the secret ones? I don't know, secrets are crazy in this game. You need, sometimes you need to do, like, insane bunny hop jumps off a square millimeter of space. <laughs> like the secrets in Painkiller now and again. But you know, that's, that's classic style shooters for you. Hmm. More plot. Books. Uh. Uh. And if you started off the game with bad feelings because it was all modern shootery, now we're in a dark claustrophobic environment. Spider's nest. Yes, there are <clears> spiders. <throat> oh, damn. Let there be light! Why was the subtitle only on your side oh, of the screen? The um, Why was it only on mine that time? Looks like I missed the part. Oh, we, sw oh, we... I think we say <laughs> stuff ourselves. I guess we're like separate Sams. <laughs> Same voice, but, you know, we speak independently. We are separate Sams. We are one. We are many. We are the Sam. You will be assimilated into the Sam. Your alternative costumes will be made part of our own. <laughs> Where's, <clears throat> Where's the way? Is it up these stairs? Yes. Jesus God Almighty. I'm like, I'm gonna wait for you. I'm just gonna sit here and look at this. Good, Le -le 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 -le. Good idea. Here I come. Ooh, a helmet. You need one. An all the time helmet. There we go. How many right. helmets am I Follow wearing? Follow the funk. Can't um. stop the funk, apparently. Never. So, what's in the news, Gabriel? Um, yeah. Like, what news? Video gamey news, or? Yeah. Oculus well, Rift's a bit expensive. Yeah, I heard that. Which wouldn't bother me, but they were always going on about, like, how they're going to bring VR to the masses, and how a $600 price point was a bit much. Well, if they'll pay a thousand bucks for the PS3... Yeah... I and mean, I'm yeah. sure they'll drop the price eventually. They oh, yeah. That's... Probably just need to make start making some profit from it, and then they can think about All right, it. Alright, how come I can't go back there? There uh, we go. I mean, I, I do support VR as a concept. Well, you've had the uh, dev... It's sitting around somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't used it in a while, though. As, I mean, since it's like the non-publicly supported version, it's yeah. a bitch to get running. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm super looking forward to it. I've got... Hey, 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 hey. I mean, there is the problem where it makes you feel sick all the time. I, um, I don't have that issue. With... I think that's more a design issue, because I've noticed that I got particularly sick when I tried to play Alien Isolation with it. And that was largely because... There were still lots of cutscenes where the character is moving independently of your movements. Yeah. Like searching around and the head and their head movements do not correspond with your head movements. And so when your brain does not feel the things it is seeing, that's when the sickness starts. Yeah. So as long as they don't like take control away in cutscenes in VR games, although I know they will, because they always do. They're dumb shits. Then that will be ameliorated. Emilio Estevez rated. You know, when you... When you melee attack the big spiders... Yeah. ...in this game, from... From the perspective of the person doing it, it kind of looks like you're just... ...fucking them. Doing a great big thrust. Okay, and making okay. their faces explode. Ooh, that's a cheeky bugger. That's why looking up is good. Yeah, I still... I still maintain that the trade-off would be better for, like, around me. There's always a risk-reward. When do I get a shotgun? Whoa! There's another case in point. Coming for you. Well, there'll be a shotgun eventually, I'm sure. 
melee. Oh, well, that's what it looks like from the outside perspective. <laughs> Pretty much a big thrust. So in other news, I was interested in the story that that Twitter are considering changing the character limit to 10,000 rather that's than 140. fucking retarded. Why, Gabriel? You seem to have strong feelings on the matter. Because then it's just... Because that's every other website. Blogger. Any, like, literally any other website I can have that. You can get Twit longer. That's already the thing. Uh, like, no. there are so many other fucking ways to accomplish reading 10,000 characters. The whole point of Twitter is that it's 140. Well, 10,000 still isn't that much for writing an essay. It's more of a well, paragraph, really. Uh, yeah, but that's what... Again, Twit longer exists. These things already exist without changing the fundamental... Eat my balls! Nature, <laughs> nature of it. And you. Plenty for everyone. I had two balls. That's plenty. Yeah, that's plenty. That's plenty for these motherfuckers. You have a little bit, oh. and then you share. Oh, that's a glitchy light effect. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> Aziz. I, I wow, there's a lot of them now that you've mentioned it. I knew we shouldn't yeah. have dropped down too high from Ultra. Yeah, but it glitched out earlier. Yeah, funny that. All right, I don't think there's anything around here. Oh, nope, that wasn't I don't know, the ground. I think, I think Twitter is still offers a unique experience in a lot of ways. I mean, if they did if they did it like they kept the 140 character thing, but that was just sort of like the the initial thing to get you intrigued, and then you could click on that and then read it an additional 10,000 words, maybe that could w work. That's, a, that's just every clickbait article. Well, possibly. I mean, again, I just don't know why. Is... I go to Twitter specifically because I like the brevity of it. Well, Even, Twitter like, is... five tweets in a row is still very, you know, it's not a lot. Well, some might say clickbait articles are also the art of brevity. People have such short attention spans these days. It's always a quick, itemized list of ten quick paragraphs. Yes, uh, we'll see. I actually like long essays, which... Sadly, BuzzFeed started well, with the intention of doing... Well, then you'll be happy about the new tweet well, no, Twitter because system, that's, then. it's... A, it's not that long, and B, there's different services, different things. You know, when I want water, I don't want a glass of milk, even though I love glasses of milk. I just, well, don't, I just don't see it doing anything that isn't already done adequately by a, every other fucking corner of the internet. Well, I'm just taking the opposite view, because I don't really care about the issue. I mean, it's not gonna... It's just more content. The human race, probably and through social media, probably Jesus. creates oh, more writing go. than the human race has ever created in the previous all the previous centuries combined. Oh, yeah, no, without a doubt. It's all just more white noise, I suppose. You want to take the Adrian Veidt approach, just stack up a load of TV screens in the same spot and try to get a general impression from everything. Did you come down here? I yes. think you did. Yes, I did. What's that game on Steam? Oh, I don't know. We should um, we should try it sometime, actually. Where uh, it's split screen, but you can't see yourself, and you have to watch the other person's screen to see where you are. I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. We're supposed to be Santa Claus and Funky Man. Yeah. He, this is just another part of the building that he's hanging around. This is... Somber Steve. You can tell this is modern series, Sam, because he added wraparound shades to the classic look. <laughs> Do you have any experience with psychedelics? And if so, could you share some of the strange or fucked up things you saw from Namara? Actually, before Namara. we go on to questions, I also noted that on the Twitter subject, they did something fairly unprecedented that's gotten around a bit, and they unverified someone. Huh. See, I always thought the verification system was uh, just there to identify that this account does actually belong to the person saying. Yeah, uh, like actual celebrities account. and stuff. But I'm not. So in this case, well, for the record, it was Milo Yiannopoulos, the Breitbart writer, mm -hmm. who's uh, one of the figureheads of Gamergate these days. Mm -hmm. And um, this has been interpreted by some for that reason as an expression of Twitter's politics. Well, why they unverify him? That's what I don't get. I mean, if it's like just what was the stated reason? Um, it was. Actually, I remember seeing, like, he posted the message they sent him. There was something along the lines of, um, due to, you know, uh, uh, not catering to Twitter's guidelines or something. Yeah, see, that's odd. 
That strikes me as punitive as opposed to relevant to... Something's hurting me and I'm not sure what. Oh, it's, a. Oh, it's a thing on the ceiling. There you are. You're getting your uh, puka revenge for... Um, Consuming shadow. Yeah. Those things were buggers. Yeah, so there was a bit sort of like solidarity thing where a whole bunch of other people on um, Twitter have changed their names to Milo Yiannopoulos and using using his photo, which was very confusing because <laughs> I found out about this because someone, you know, mentioned me in a tweet and it said it was Milo Yiannopoulos. And I thought that doesn't seem right because the, the Twitter name was different to his usual one. Mm. So that's how I found out about this. What do you think, Gabriel? Um, well, you know, I haven't really, sort of. I mean, it seems a rather impotent sort of gesture if it is a political one. Well, I can't see what the gesture is for otherwise. I mean, there are loads of... I mean, this is what I mean, like, there are loads of way worse people, like, really, really worse people than fucking Milo running around on fucking internet, yeah. even, you know, I mean, the even worst if you, you could, completely disagree with him. Well, the worst you could say about him is he's a bit self-centered, I always think. Which is what Twitter's fucking for. I'm not going to begrudge someone for being t fucking self-centered on Twitter. Right? I suppose. But even, I mean, even on his Breitbart articles, uh, running, running well, themes is to be talking about think. himself for half the thing. Oh, I mean, that's a big part of the internet is personalized essays these days. But yeah, you can, I mean, I wouldn't uh, criticize the guy for his politics, because oh. I don't believe... Well, whether or not... I believe in judging people by what they do rather than what they say, do you know what I mean? Well, I mean, you know, the modern world in general is this group adherence over everything else. Well, the internet, the internet well, lends yeah. itself to that sort of trench warfare. Well, yeah, it's the classic problem, isn't it? Pick a third, pick a team. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know why... What are you? Oh. Yeah. Some bugger was shooting me with something. Oh, yeah, what's these, that? The little ones can Yeah! Be shotgun over here! Oh, nice. That's what we want. Although it's still kind of overkill for the spider things, and most of the things that you can kill with one hit. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it to keep it a pistol for now, because I don't know what the ammo situation's like. Well, I'm gonna back you up with my shot, shotty. Excellent. Oh, that what wasn't the... backing up, silly me. All right, get out of your system, man. I'm gonna spawn the exact same spot. Well, I mean, you know, I guess we, we had follow... that one coming. I guess we followed the exit sign. I was just being playful. Black Lives Matter, yeah, okay. Anyway, yes. Um, well, yeah, I don't... I mean, I don't understand what that's supposed to accomplish. Like, even if someone was doing something wholly against Twitter's terms of services, shouldn't you ban them? Or stop them from posting? Like, isn't well, that the, the threat? Yeah. Is, I mean, what's... I guess they... I, I mean, you could interpret it as... Sort of... Um, they wanted to punish him for something, but didn't really have a justification to do so. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what it looks like. Because yeah. you haven't... I, I don't know, people probably, I, I'm guessing people wear those things like badges of pride, like they brag about how they're like verified or whatever. Well, as I said, it seems to be just, you know, for confirming, like, for, so people don't... Yeah, but I mean, celebrities. if, yeah, but that's the thing, if, if you've got one, it obviously means you're, you know, worth confirming. Well, so that's that, that that's so, so I, I get that, I'm under the impression that people would use them right. as a... So by in, in, inference... Twitter will be saying that they now consider Yiannopoulos not worth inferring. Yeah, which... I don't... I mean, I don't understand how that unhappens. Like, is there, like, a guide somewhere? Like, you've become this useless, so you don't... I mean, he's... I mean, I'm referred, and, uh... You barely use Twitter. I do. I use it a fair bit. Yes. I, me I remember to tweet all my videos. But I keep forgetting to tweet the YouTube videos. Perhaps I should do that for this one. I don't ever see you, like, I don't, you know, I follow you and you don't I barely I, ever see you I, on my I tweet, tweet zero punctuation and judging by the cover every week, man, like clockwork. Really? Yes. That's, I'm gonna have to look into that, because I never see you on my feed. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man, but I definitely do. Now, these enemies oh, are kind oh, of... Oh, fucking, okay. These enemies are kind of bullshit, because I think this is the only case in any serious sound game of a hit scan weapon. Possessed by an enemy. Motherfucker. Um, I, so the, I did the fucking melee on one of them, and oh, that's yeah, cool. I don't think melee kills them outright with these ones. I think that just kicks them away for a bit. <sighs> fucking yeah, you're right. Melee and a shotgun, though. Okay, that killed him outright. Oh no, it didn't. Ah, <sighs> fun. Yeah, so these monsters always felt kind of out of place in serious Sam. Um, yeah, I see what you mean. Like modern shooter enemies in a modern shooter environment. 
I think most, and these, and they like, uh, after a while, they just kind of stop happening and you just get the big colorful ones. Right. Which is what Serious Sam is supposed to be about. Yeah. I always think. Well, isn't, uh, the, isn't the very idea of the serious of Serious Sam meant to be, you know, moderately ironic? Well, yeah. Fucking. I mean, if it was a serious game, you wouldn't call it Serious Sam, no. would you? No. Word day. Well, anyway, what was that question again? Do you have any experience with psychedelics? And if so, could you share some of the strange and fucked up things you saw? Have you tripped dust balls? I have, actually. Yes, this is an interesting little. I've uh, taken the L to the S to the D. What have you taken? <sighs> um. Marijuana. You don't trip balls on marijuana. No, I'm just going through the list. Well, well okay. Marijuana like mixed with um, well, opium? That's a pretty. Okay, well, the question specifically said psychedelics. Oh, okay. LSD, psilocybin, um, I think a little DMT once. I think ketamine's the only one I haven't done. So I've heard that one's always comes strongly recommended, right? Really, but, you know, from people who sell it, so, you know. <laughs> never Probably never, some professional bias in there. I've only ever done the LSD, and that was, like, because uh, it was a gift. I'd never know where to go to get it for myself, is my point. You buying drugs would be one of the most comically adorable things I could yeah. possibly... <laughs> Hello! I Hello, I'm interested in buying some drugs. I'm not a police officer. No, you just walking up to the scariest looking people you can find, just blind like, just, hello. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> but yes, I've, I've done the, the I've done uh, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. That was part of your sort of professional development thing, wasn't it? Like you wanted to do so as part of a uh, an authorial kind of exercise. Yeah, and I probably wouldn't do it again because I had a pretty bad experience. Actually, I think taking it by yourself is not a good well, idea. I didn't. Well, I didn't. no, I taking it when you're the only person on it. Well, you've got to have someone there in case someone starts pulling their eyes out or something. Well, uh, I mean, has the person you were with taken it before? I, I, think, I think they had, yes. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, so when I took it... Actually, it started off really well. I remember... Usually does. I remember entering a sort of state of euphoria. Yep. I remember thinking that this was probably the first time my repressed soul had truly felt joy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I got it from, like, watching patterns blur together. Yeah. I actually started up an emulator. I started up Harvest Moon. Shit. And yes. I ploughed a huge field just so I could see the repeated pattern of ploughed tiles. I just ploughed a huge field and stood in the middle of it and listened to various overlaying voice tracks. I remember saying, it's not the patterns, it's the space in between the patterns. And Excellent. for some reason, I entered, when I was like in a, when everything was all blurred together in this big mess, and my vision had blurred, and I was hearing all this nonsense, then that was when I entered a sort of euphoric state. But then I started feeling paranoid, and um, I felt like I was... I felt like everything seemed to be changing sizes. Everything like, becomes one. Like the room got huge. I had to reach up and touch the ceiling because I felt suddenly felt small. Yes, yes. Seeing all things, all things at once. And that, and that was quite quite distressing. And then I ended up sitting on the couch and going into a sort of catatonic state for about three hours. <laughs> I'd, I'd honestly recommend doing it again, because then you'd be more familiar with... Uh, like, because you need to know the up and the down. The problem is when you first have it, you're not sure it's ever going to stop. I'm not sure... And I'm that a, can lead to the anxiety that you felt. Well, I'm, I'm a generally anxious person anyway, and it might have been, you know, bringing all that out. You should try some MDMA. I don't want it. Well, that, that's that been very, very, very good at helping well, with why anxiety. Why don't you tell us what your experiences on psychedelics were like? What specific things you saw? Um, first... I'm trying to think now. What was the button you pushed to make that go away? Uh, it's B, I think. Uh, excellent. All right, um, where are we going? I don't know. Is it... Oh, oh, I think I found here? a hole. Where are you? All right, this looks to be a nothing much going on. Aha, hole. this way. Where are you? Uh, I went through a narrow alleyway. Uh. I'm over here. Hello. Come and get your presents from Santa. Hooray! So yes, what did you see? Um, oh. Okay, well I gotta think. The first time I had mushrooms, they'd been cooked, which kind of affects 
like fairly heavily affects how they. Really? Um, yeah. Does it reduce or increase the effect? Uh, reduce. I'd have thought so. Yeah. Um. So that set kind of like a low bar, which. Ow. Um, fuck you. Yes. So the next time, I'm like, okay, and bear in mind, like, I, you know, but at this stage, I was, like, smoking weed all the goddamn time. So my head was fairly familiar with just not being in its sort of standard state. <laughs> um, so. Oops, sorry. The second time around. That's what happens when you have a huge afro on your head. It, it really makes, you, it makes yeah. you a target. That's see black people. That's you just gotta stop with the afros. Yes, it is. Anyway, anyway. Um, oh, fucking these shotgun. So what did, what did you see specifically? Well, hang on, I'm getting to that. So, I f I, my second cousin lived on a property where the things fucking grew. You're not getting to it pretty fucking. Slowly, and are just you? one time showed up with this um, little bag of about like little paper newspaper bag of about um, twenty or thirty of the things. I believe I already said get to the point. What did you see? Uh, the universe? Well, okay, I was laying in bed, staring at this, uh, the, the light fixture, and listening to, uh, White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane, because I'm a walking stereotype. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, it, it, that's it, the very it was, first, it, that's yeah. the very first time sort of thing well, to do, isn't it? Yeah, that's the appropriate, you know, it's the appropriate fucking music you gotta put on. Did you ask someone to throw a radio in the bath with you when it reached the climax? Uh, no, no, that's the, I, you meant to have, like, a few. For your first time, particularly. Um, I had like 30 odd, which, or oh, oh, yeah. around like the high 20s, really, by my recollection. It was it was a lot more than you were supposed right. to have. That was so, a whole fucking breakfast. Yeah, so the, uh, this is because, you know, I'd, my baseline was from cooked, so I was expecting a similar sort of reaction, which I didn't get. So, um, first, like, three hours were fun. Because that's when I'm having those things like you were talking about, like it's just like, it's up. And you're like, oh, this is fun, because you're still, you understand that you're you having something happen to them. By about five hours in. Um, and like, you know that thing where the, the, the roof was like running away from you? Yeah. Yeah, the entire room was breathing. I'd had a conversation with the brick wall that kept forming a face, a little bit like the <laughs> hands in Labyrinth. Uh. They'd swirl around and around and then they'd stop. And what, what, like it'd look at me and just go, "How are you feeling?" And I'd go, "Okay, it's it's all right." <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think it I got, kept going. I don't think I got any audio. No, I was I was having full tilt conversations with things that were not there, and this kept going. Like this this was it's still going up. That's about when I started to freak out a little bit because at this point, my you know the, the basis for my understanding of the experience is uh, out the fucking window. So I don't know. When is it going to stop? I don't know when it's going to peak. I don't know when it's going to start coming down. Right. That's when I started to panic. Um, fortunately, by that stage, I was almost entirely unclipped from reality. Uh, there was like a giant, like vast, impossibly vast domed hall that I was in. There were figures in robes. Like I was Blimey. fucking gone. Is this, is this where we came from? Oh, I guess not. I got a mini secret. The music just started. Um... Oop. I hear screamies! Ah! Nope. And you. So, um, yeah, that was a bit much. Um... Yeah, I was probably, good. I was, you know, I was busy for about eight hours. Um, by the time I was coming down, I felt really good. Um... Because the anxiety attack was over. Um... I don't know if the screaming's on my side or yours. I don't think it's... Yeah, I can't tell the direction of things from the sound, because of the... I can't anyway, that's partial deafness for you. So a voyage to trip out city, generally. Full tilt, yeah, like, just... It started and it didn't stop. Um, the next day I was... The next day I felt great, I was fine, I felt kind of... A placid oneness, you know, it was all, it was all lovely by the time I'd sort of you know, returned. Yeah, I read up on a lot of research on the old uh, L to the S to the D before I tried it. 
And I imagine well, saying if research you research your drug experiences. I mean, well, you know, I didn't want to go into no, this. No, it's, it's yeah. fair. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's part of that, like, really cute sort of, I'm going to research my narcotics kind of thing. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, where are you going? Don't and where are you, more to the point? I'm still finding things to kill, and I'm, like, 200 yards from you. Um, I think some things are walking past me to find you, so... No, that's just a plotty thing. Um... Okay, I think I'm going backwards now. I'm not sure. Hang on, I'll come find you. Oh, yeah. Um, yes, this is. So that was a bit much. The it? second time I had them was with friends, and I had like five, and that was a that was a jolly old time. That was. Um, yeah, I, was, I uh, took. We, we had tickle fights and shit. Uh, we had like cartoons going. That was just that was, that was fucking brilliant. I think I took like just the one tab. I remember reading the documentation that said if you take something like four, you, do that. you get a sort of dislocated sense of self and become one with the universe. And from my experience from the one, I can kind of see how that would happen. Yeah. Like, that was what I got, like, off the bat, which I don't think... You don't, you know... Games have difficulty levels for a reason. <laughs> okay, let's gamify our druggies. Hey! There's that guy. Game of fire drag experiences, why not? Oh, that's a good way of. Oh! Ow. Hey, cover, man, it is your friend. Uh, oh, well, I'm spawning right on him, so that's. So, okay, yeah. did he knock down a gate or something that we go through now? Or? So that's our psychedelics, but of course, please use your drug experiences responsibly. By that I mean, don't tell the cops. Question two Gabe! Mm -hmm. The world is coated with a layer of jam that eats all organic matter. What would you do? Jiggles the third. Not touch it. Jiggles the third being the uh, asker. Oh, so my character isn't Jiggles the third? No. Okay. Um, what would you do, which, for the uninitiated, is the scenario from my second novel, Jam? There's a bugger up there. There's buggers everywhere. Have you got a jam plan in the event of jam, Gabriel? Um, well, I don't have a dinghy. I'd probably go with, like, General Brisbane and sort of flooding plans, but I mean, a lot of those is predicated on the idea that I can wade through the water. Yeah, what you need I to mean, do is look out your window and uh, try, to fig try to pick a path consisting only of non-organic objects at least three feet in height. What if I'm, like, duct tape myself in plastic bags? Well, that works, as oh, okay. we know from the book. Well, yeah, I'd do that then. Do you have enough plastic bags? Yeah, yeah, I got garbage bags out the arse in my house. And you got to be very careful, because they could split. Yeah on anything those well things. that would you know ah oh, those big piles of wood you can knock down with a sledgehammer well yes uh, okie dokily do where are we going now? maybe I can knock down that fucking gate I'm just following you man well I you know that big dude came and like I keep coming to this but uh, is this backwards or forwards I don't know where I'm going now well I mean I I mean, we should go back to where we fought the fucking giant lobster. Okay. Yeah, yeah see, that comes. Um, la, 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 la. Enormous lobster man, because he was a new occurrence. Yeah. And I believe that him showing up might have knocked something down or moved something out of the way or opened up a path that we could otherwise... Who the fuck knows? Navigate our way through. Oh, here's the gate you saw him through, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. See, that's that's the thing. Like, I've, I've you know, been in there checking that out, but I... So See, there you are. Yes. So this away. Yeah. Except not. <sighs> Alright, that's <sighs> that's change weapon. How maddening. Ah, oh, there's oh there we go. I have run. Um we can't jump very high, can we? Nope. Oh, that's just an alley. Hmm. So now that indicator would be nice. Would be, wouldn't it? Alright. Well. Is this the way we came? Or is it not? Uh, yeah. I'm running toward the way we came. Okay. Because, like, there's guys up on that bridge, so maybe we have to find a way onto that bridge somehow. Uh... Does this series usually have, like, major backtracking elements? Because I thought it was just a no. kind of forward, you know... Well, depends on the game, really. Okay, this is play. this is backtracking. I'm fairly sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, we're definitely backtracking now. That's what I said. Like I, 
Hey, like, all right. See, that looks like a pile of junk that leads. I bet we can't now. No, you can't. Oh. Oh. It's probably just a secret, though. Yeah, there's just some crap. But nonetheless, this is the most forward mini secret. More to the side, really. <sighs> yep. Oh, That's great not... secret. 11 health. <laughs> That's not nope. taking us anywhere we've already head been. Straight down to game facts with that one. I've discovered something excellent. Well, let's do the old maze trick of following the left hand wall. We can't go that way. I will watch you. I will watch you and I will wait. Can't go that way. Sorry about this, viewers. You're probably all yelling at the screen by this point. How do you not know to go the way? Ah. This is so obvious. Obviously, you're supposed to go down the thing, but you can't see because you ran straight past it like a bell end. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't. I didn't find that secret so much as I knocked it down. Alright, this, uh, this looks promising. There's a whole bunch of stuff I haven't picked up. Yeah, I found this stuff though, and I just said mini secret found. And it's a secret again. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. Okay, left wall, left wall, left wall. Not in there. Okay. Nope. Oh. Okay, what about that? Nope. This is the sort of level design Syria Sam didn't need. There's that gate again. Do we, all right, do we shoot? So I tried hitting the gate with a sledgehammer and uh, if my screen goes completely, like if my side of the screen goes completely black, I can literally see nothing but the glare of the window. So I don't know, maybe there's a way down there. I'm just not seeing. Okay, not that way. All right, is there, do we shoot something? Some shells. Nope. Wait. Come to the gate. What? Come to the gate. Did you open the gate? No. Okay. Invisible. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. Yep. That's an ass. Yep. Oh, that texture. It's like, fucking, I can't see shit. This is like Escher. Okay, I managed to jump up. It's better Whoop. not just be a fucking secret. No, this looks familiar. I think I fell. Whoop. God almighty. Yeah. Yep. Wish we still had that flashlight. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Alright, no, that's not the way I wanted to go. That's just backward. Don't go out the hole. I'll try not to. Hole. That's what she said. No. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, one of the levels. There's only. If you, if you go back down a level or two, there's. Another area. Hey, all right, all right. Where are you? Okay, come back down the stairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. See. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's progress. At long last. Oh, fucking Jesus. I mean, the street looks identical to the previous one, but never mind. Hmm, I wonder if they spawn two. Ow! 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 Two ow, ow, ow! 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 Uh, notice he capitalized the U there, Sirius Sam. That was incorrect. Maybe that's what that guy's called. Maybe he's a god. The god of you. And you have to capitalize all his pronouns. Ah, oh, I guess that fits. I hear screaming. So, uh. Oh, oh. There he is. Rad. Got your eye! Um, Yate, when you move to the US, what will you miss most about Australia? Stroke, what are you dreading most about life in the ah. US? From Dr. Kipper. Well, Dr. Kipper, I guess I'll miss the uh, easygoing attitude of the Australians, where even the muggers and thugs seem good-natured about their hideous behaviour. <laughs> what, what I think I am dreading about the US is the constant ignorance of irony. Because, like, that's my entire shtick. <laughs> Isn't, aren't most of your fans from the States, though? Yeah, well... The yeah. US is just, I think it's it's one of those things well, where it's some of, some of them get it, 
Yeah. But it very easily goes over their heads as well. So, more I mean, worry I mean, about maybe President it, Trump. I mean, maybe, maybe that's something in their favor. It means they're more sincere-minded as a people. I think it's it's just that divide. Like people are either really, really into irony or completely oblivious to it. I think East Coast will probably be all right, but uh, I'm anticipating West Coast living. Uh, yes. Yes. Mega hey, Melbourne. something to translate. It says. The devils from the space shall be abolished by our lord. Alrighty, well, give him a call when he gets here. I think they mean me. Yes, oh, of course. that's the only explanation. Sirius Sam is lord. Sirius, Sirius Sam, Sam is, is life. Yeah, See, we were taking that in a, different directions, weren't we? I think there was a screamer there. Where have you gone? I think I'm going back again. Oh, I knew we should have skipped to the later levels. I can hear you. I know you're here. There we go. And you're quite finished cocking about. I prefer the term fuck assing around. They just don't sound like monsters. I don't really know. Sound like a person doing an ineffectual growling noise. <laughs> Grrr. I'm scary. Grrr, monster yeah. time. Like a really big dude playing with his tiny daughter. <clears throat> oh, what's that? It's flickering and I want it. Ah! I don't, know how, Jesus. I don't know how the hell he snuck up on me, but he managed it somehow. Alright. Uh, I can see, can see him over the top of something. Shit, cover, cover, cover. Oh, there we are. That'll do. All right, well that just keeps hitting you, doesn't it? Huh. Hey, I just killed a giant scorpion in front of you, man. <laughs> that was probably your opportunity to run. <laughs> Teabagging. I wasn't teabagging. That was very stern. Dis uh, discussing of events. <laughs> What's the word I was after? Like coffee dripping. Like telling someone off. Um. I always forget words on these records. Yeah, must be the pressure. Too. You know, the well, it's like when people. You, you, I mean, you've said admonishing. Walk up admonishing. To you. That was very severe admonishing. Uh, it was not bollocking. That was. The I knew it sounded a bit like that. What? Hey, all kinds of shit over here. Yeah, I'm meleeing a skeleton thing. Well, you, Ooh. you do that. Found a corner of treats, didn't you? Here's a long question. I'm going to read it out in a dorky voice. It's been established that each playthrough is canon in its own universe, and each player can be variant on a person we know from our universe's selves, but do the Elder Gods have a different version for each dimension, or do they transcend dimensions, i.e. There is only one Shadow, the dimensions just interpreted him differently. <laughs> and that's from Copperblade Studios, who probably does not sound like that. I don't but know. But he's obviously referring to Consuming Shadow there, in which I've stated that every playthrough of that game is canon, because it's an infinite multiverse of events. But, and uh, to answer your question, yes, I do think that the ancients are all, uh, you know, transcending dimensions. And, uh,. The ancient is the ancient is always uh, the same entity, but each you know plane of reality interprets them differently. That's oh. my personal interpretation, anyway. There's that. From a million men, the god singled him out. I think there's more than a million people in the world, but okay. Hmm. All right, I found fun. Oh, so you have. Thought you could hog all the fun for yourself, did you? Reload faster. You know, in modern shooters, you're supposed to switch to like a sidearm when the first gun runs out. I never do though. No. I just sort of hide behind something. Or I've hope been, I don't. I've just been ducking and weaving. Or hope I don't die before I finish reloading. Those whom the gods guide cannot get lost, I beg to differ, Graffiti. As we saw today. 
Get fucked. Oh, hey, sledgehammer wall. Sledgehammer! With nothing behind it. Fun. <laughs> Thanks, Serious Sam. Where are these guys from? Slovenia? They're from Sirius, obviously. Silly me. Where were you carrying those? Quit throwing bolus at me. Oops. Alright, you're crossing in front of... Well, whose fault is that, really? Jesus's. The gods that's meant to be, like, guiding you. Fuck that guy. He never brings me Christmas presents. Get it in ya! Oh, hello. Get dunked on! Hmm, uh, lots of bombers! Pro tip, let them uh, run for a while and they start to group together a bit. And he can take out several with one shot. I hope ISIS are watching this and getting ideas. Yeah, I hope they're seeing us destroy them and not be killed yeah. and lose none of our f unwavering faith. But that's exactly the right message to take. Fucking, ah, oh, fucking balls. Balls out of the gas. You wouldn't think suicide bombing would be that successful a policy, would you? Um, I think it's a short term. There's... I mean, it's Sooner like, or later. Oh, big boom. It's like that argument that surely homosexuality can't be genetic because homosexuals don't breed. Well, genetics only... You have to fuck up to not, like, keep going. Like, genetics keeps loads... I mean, hell, the kakapo and the kiwi exist. Genetics keeps loads of shit. Like, it doesn't just trim the with kakapo, an efficiency. The kakapo? Yes. Sounds like someone mashed together all the euphemisms for feces. It, it's the genetic equivalent of that. Ow. But, um, generally homosexuality is thought to be an adaptive thing, or kind of like a hyperextension of an adaptation to keep social groups as complex as ours in order. Have we plugged the waffle line in, Gabriel? Uh, yeah, oh no, I've read about this, but I'm very curious about it. So what? I think that's a Why yes. Why does the gay occur? What? Yahtzee, you've mentioned you like to play games while listening to podcasts to wind down. What Haven't we answered this question a thousand fucking times? I don't think we have. What do you, well, it's a good... Well, it's sort of an answer that updates constantly, because uh. I'm always playing different things while listening to things. For example, I've, was, I've been playing this, this and games like this quite a bit. Like What's Sirius, a game like that? Like Serious Sam 2. I've been playing Serious Sam 3 and games like it, such as Serious... Fucking melee them, you shit cunt! Yeah, it's a bit uh, troublesome, that. I don't think you can melee them if they're in the process of attacking. So yes, I've been playing this a bit. Most recently, I uh, actually started a playthrough of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door again. Are you reviewing that? Oh, no, it's Thousand no. Year Door. You're reviewing the other one, aren't you? Yeah, I'm uh, playing Mario... Well, this is what made me want to play it again. I was replaying Mario and Luigi... Okie dokie. ...Paper Jam, and made me think, Golly, I'd really like to be playing Thousand Year Door instead of this. So I've been playing that, and I also play a bit, <laughs> and if I'm just like, you know, killing time, I'll play a bit of Agario. So there you go, people, if you ever wanted to play the video games with Yahtzee, you can, uh, you can Agario it up. Alright, fucking Jesus. What pal? Stupid skeleton. They're not, what are they? Min minotaurs, sort of? Yeah, uh, skeleton. Deadly horses. Oh, this will be fun. Every, all this graffiti is banging on about God. Where is your God? I'll tell you where. There is no God but Allah. He's in my hands, being fed shotgun shells. And he goes, yum, yum, yum. yum, 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 yum. Your God is grateful for the offering. Yum, 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 yum. Oops. Oh, was that was you, was it? I was like, where's the enemy? Where's the enemy? Did you see him, Gabe? Ow. Oh, wide open arena. Yeah, no, I don't like this already. I don't want to be surrounded by little bomber dudes. Pow. Nope. I wish my melee killed you. 
So what are you, what are you playing at the moment, Gabriel? Uh, in Witcher your downtime? Two and Grand Theft Auto Five. Do you ever like and turn Fallout the sound down? Four. Do you ever turn the sound down and listen to podcasts while you play games? Um, I tend to watch movies or TV shows that I'm only moderately interested in. Um, yeah, like if not podcasts, I'll put like YouTube on in a small window. But uh, lately, like with five and um, I should probably get dual monitors actually. Wasn't great. Yeah, I've got a dual monitor set up. Um, Ew. Check well, out Master Race monitors. It's one fifty-six incher and one fifty-two incher, or forty something incher actually. That's what she said. Um, yeah, it's lovely. And I've got a fancy new graphics card, so I've got a, an armchair basically closer to the TV than we are now. You have said that with such a smug voice. Um, and it, uh, I got headphones because I, I found out I didn't even know this. The, um computer can do basically sort of 7.1 surround sound using just stereo headphones. Well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds I in the notice. middle of your head. Um, so now I'm having like a full kind of, oh, that's you. The full kind yes. of cinematic experience. Do not shoot Father Christmas. Which has, uh... Father Christmas think, is really, your friend. I'm playing like, oh, fucking Father Christmas melee. You Thank you. Yes. Stupid. Um, I've been playing like GTA 5 first person, which I'm really enjoying. Yeah, I think we discussed that. Uh, I think we discussed that privately. I think we, I think we did it on video as well. Oh, we might have. Cause I, I, we were t I think we were talking about this when we went climbing the other week. Ah, uh, yes. I'm pretty sure we just came up on a video. I might be right. But I remember uh, hearing the conversation oh. twice. Oh. Which means I probably listened to it back. Yeah, that question me, was, me. The question was from Rumbidzai, I'm not sure I mentioned it. What the hell much time we got? Fucking bitey. I reckon this video's got room for one more question. Don't you? Um, so yeah, those are the games I've been playing. Are I really enjoy the... them. It says you're riding the gun again. That sounds rather painful. What does that mean? I mean I've done good or bad. I guess it means you're you're back in the game. Oh, after okay. having been killed. I kinda like the way they get like kind of crimson and bloodied up. Oh, yeah. oh! Ah, uh, fucking Christmas tits. Do you think that From Software would make a good Metroid Prime game based upon the Souls series by arbitrary order? Uh, by Prime, do you mean like a first-person one? Like, do you want From Software to make it first-person? Because I think they'd do a solid shot at a third-person. I think this is a pretty loaded question. This is clearly the asker saying, "Don't you agree with me that From Software could probably make a good Metroid Prime game?" I'm not sure. I do. I mean, the only real connection there is that they both make sort of open-worldy 3D games. And while they both sort of did a good job of realising the Metroidvania style in a 3D environment, Metroid Prime is much more platformy focused, I'd say. Much, it's much more rigid, I suppose, in that you have to get all the pickups in order and go to all the new areas in order. Mm. Whereas Dark Souls is much more fluid. And another thing is that, as I said, Metroid Prime is a sort of a platforming element. And I want to know if you seriously think people who made Dark Souls 1 <laughs> should be designing a platformer. I mean, just think of all the shitty jumps. Horrible, climbing, horrible jumps. All the walking along incredibly narrow paths, like in Anor Londo. You know how in Anor Londo there's... Ooh, hello. Hey, legacy monster. Hi there, chum. You know how in Anor Londo there's like the, uh, there's normally a note up on, um, you know, an, a, a note on that fucking stupid awning you have to walk along? It's not an awning, it's a buttress. Buttress, okay. Uh. Um, there wasn't when I was playing, so I didn't know that was there, and I was running around for ages trying yeah. to work out where the hell I was supposed to go. There wasn't and one I the last time I played, actually. And I mean, I know it's like, oh, there's a broken window. It's like, yeah, but literally nothing about that buttress says safely walk on me. Well, no. It's quite notorious. Don't look at me. Fucking Krang's on the steroids. Yeah. Fall down and die. There you go. Now go off to the happy hunting ground so you can become a smaller regular enemy. <laughs> Status. Extraction has failed. Repeat, extraction has failed. So, yeah, I've... You've failed. Mm. Damn it. Okay, secure the crash site and save the pilot. 
I don't know, but if that business was going on in an area of the world, I'd suggest probably a lot of nuclear weaponry rather than sending in people to deal with it manually. Well, that was level no place to hide of Sirius Sam BFE. Have we whetted your appetite? I think I listener? have this at home. I might install it when I get home because it is fun. Yeah. You know, it does scratch that itch of like, I, I don't mind the more serious sort of shooters, but it is fun to just be able to like, you know, yeah. duck and move between the bullets and blast away. I hate the fucking level design in those cities though. Yeah. I, I mean, yes, it, yes, just agree with me. Yeah. Yes, we're all, we're, we're all agree, in agreement there. Because that fucking gate thing was a bit dicky because we went in there and looked around and it was just fucking invisible. Yes. Right. Well, that's it for this video. I'm going to try to persuade Gabriel to play some Dark Souls before he goes. Um, I can't. I actually have a engagement. Well then, fuck you. Yeah, sorry, chum. Fuck you too. Fuck you, everybody. Fuck you, viewers. And fuck us, everyone. Mm. Bye. <laughs>